Caddis Maximus here. This time it's a review of the Vaughn Triple Two or Triple Deuce Mini Pry Bar. This is the, uh, I'll call the version two. They probably had an even earlier version than what I'm calling the version one, but uh, they're still American made in Hebron, uh, Illinois. But uh, to do that, what they've kind of done, or what they have done, is they've done made them out of just a basic stamp piece of uh, sheet metal with a quick bend on it and gave it kind of a flashy paint job. They'd even silk screen their name onto it. So they continue to make them domestically. Uh, they've really cheapened the manufacturing process. They do heat treat this. This is a uh, high strength piece of steel. These things are great for picture frames. They're really good for paint cans. They really kind of, the, the thickness and the broad edge really gets under the lip and they're probably one of the best things you can use for things like paint cans. Automotive uses, these little pry bars are actually great when you have them. Inevitably, you do bend them. My thing is, is that Vaughn, uh, instead of for like five bucks, they should have charged seven and still put in the little touches. And so some of the little touches versus what they used to, uh, here's an older style Vaughn. They used to roll stamp their name in it. That would be for starters. Another thing is about that straightness. As we can see here with the beam of the revision two, uh, the whole thing is warped. So after they heat treat it, this long section gets a little warped and they just didn't put it through another process to straighten that out because it makes it just a little bit uh, cheaper. We can see a pretty uh, sharp kink there for this leg. And we can see that these legs are actually just pretty much straight pieces of steel that are just bent upwards. They did stamp a little chamfer there. And we can see on this leg, it's the very same way. It's basically just a flat piece of steel that they put into an S. And the reason you notice that is because they used to be quite a bit nicer. I can tell you that this older one does indeed feel more rigid. There's just no doubt about that. I can flex this one easier than I can flex the older style one. There's just no doubt about it that the older one, just a, just a little bit higher grade steel. So they cheap, use a little bit cheaper steel. But on the old one, they did put it through a straightening process. When we put, this is a machinist ruler, so it has a very straight edge on it. We can see that it is actually a straight beam. But then we can see on the end there that that's a, a proper curve. And so that's a rolled curve. And of course, that's a more expensive process than just stamping it out with a bend in it. And uh, if we put this on top, we can just start to see the difference between how flat the new one is versus the nice curve. Part of the other deal with the curve is that they did do a sanding uh, process here on the back to really just give it that nice proper curve. And the same thing on the head. They sanded. It actually has a proper curve on there. If we use the uh, ruler again. And that gives it just a nice rocking motion and allows it, when if you're using it for automotive trim or even uh, trim inside the house, sometimes you're trying to get some trim started and you just need a really small... Uh, pry bar that's what these were great for so the Vaughn uh, are still made in America they're just not quite the same and it's a bit of a shame because really all they would have to do is just continue to make them nicely and then people would pay seven or eight bucks for it and then just have your marketing team just do a little bit better job you know you look at like what Milwaukee and those companies are doing they're just filling uh, their packaging with facts about their tools and that will help uh, do the sales and you can still make them uh, the way they used to be nice and straight with nice ground edges so they were just like a very a small version of the very same larger uh, professional carpenters pry bars but instead they're uh, kind of made them cheesy and just a little bit too flexible and a little bit warped and you know anyway I just wasn't expecting Vaughn to quite cheap out this badly anyway I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing and I'll get to working on responding to more comments. I'll probably make a comments response video to deal with it. Uh, and if you haven't subs subscribed to the Caddis Maximus channel, please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.